Hey guys, I just carved this little guy today in a few minutes, probably about half an hour or something. But this kind of wood is um, Western U wood. Spit test. It comes from Vancouver Island. Um, these trees can grow like a thousand years old. They are really supposedly like in uh, Europe or something. They're really mystical trees. But type in uh, mystical U wood trees. And you'll see how spooky and creepy they look. But this is one of my favorite woods to carve. I think it's classified as a hardwood. But um, it's what they used to make the bows out of for like bows and arrows. The, it's really kind of rubbery wood. So, and it's very dense stuff. But if I wanted to sand this thing really good, man, it sands out mint. So anyways, this is too big for a necklace, but it might be good for a keychain thing or something. You would look it up. Okay guys, I'm going to make another uh, updated quick video of um, how I draw my wood spirits out. Okay, I got one I did a couple months back, but I'll do different uh, scenarios for the wood spirits for this. Okay, so let's start off with a piece of wood that uh, you say is about this wide. Say it's a round branch, something like, like this, nice and round, okay? Start off with your center line. Use a pencil when you're drawing on your wood, guys, because then you can erase things and stuff too, right? So there's my center line. So you think you need to have cheeks here. The most important part, in my opinion, it depends if you're going to put a forehead in or not, is where you put the nose. So you don't want to put the nose too wide here, and you don't want to put it too long. <clears throat> I know there's a formula when you draw on human faces, nose same as the forehead and the cheek and stuff like that, but this isn't faces, guys. This isn't anything formulated it's goddamn wood spirits and if it was formulated we would probably end up calling them wizards you know what i mean so let's start off with half the nose so we got our center line here okay so let's give this guy a nice thin little nose so like i say in my other videos guys this is for the real first time wood spirit carver make sure these two sides this side and this side are the same lengths, okay? That side and that side. And bring this up too, okay? And the same pitch. Because if this side's going to be bigger, I'm going to give you an example, okay? So this side's bigger than this side. Lose this line, scribble out your lines, erase them. Now let's drop our mustache down a little bit. Our mouse will be down here. So let's do this beard. Okay, now let's do this other one. Now look how small this beard is to this size. Wrong start, guys. Wrong start, okay? Let's just continue down here. So the nose, nice thin little nose. Okay, and the sim see everything's proportionate. Both sides are the same. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll just give, give this guy a straight beard. You can take your beard down as far as you want. You can take it to the bottom of the carving if you want. And these, these can be shaped different too. So the best way to start off with your eyes is just like that. And then carve outside of your lines. All this is your inside. It's all inside. All inside, carve on the outsides of your lines, all the way around. Okay. His eyebrows are going to be up here, so you want them or he's top high. Carve on the outside of your lines. Do that formula for your first time carving a wood spirit, and you're going to see, you're going to start getting progress. But don't carve on your first wood spirit on flat wood, guys. You know what I mean? Try and make it on round wood. Let me give you an example here. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this uh, piece of paper here. Now I'm getting into a rush. Okay. So if that's flat, then you got to cut that deep to make his cheeks look round. But if you already start on a round piece of wood, you already got the you already got the shape. 
Pretend this is round wood. You already got the shape there, friends. You know what I mean? You don't have to carve the bot, draw the bottom in deep yet, because you're going to carve all this away and feather it back, and then carve deep in here. Deep in here. Once you carve deep enough in here, so it's at the bottom of the nose. Okay, so you want to carve all this away. All that away. So then your nose is sticking out. Then, once you carve deep enough down here, then you can draw the lip in and carve the bottom lip. Okay, that's the first one. Let's start our second one. Let's start off with this formula, guys. Always, man, this is the simplest formula. After you get the hang of the, the face, then you can start putting in different kind of eyebrows, you know what I mean? Move your beard around, sway it, you know, like. Okay, so there's the first one. Second one, we're gonna do a bigger piece of wood now, okay? So we can use a bigger nose. So, bigger nose. Same thing as before, guys. Same, same pitch, same pitch, and same length. That looks pretty good. So now we're going to give this guy a, a flowing beard, like the wind is whoosh, flowing off to the side, okay? So give it a little lip here and just go, whoosh, right? Whoosh. Then do the same with this one. Whoosh, whoosh. You know what I mean? You see it? Then you put his eyes in. Get, make this nose a little bit taller, more proportionate, right? Okay. Then, so say our cheeks are here. Here's gonna be a forehead. His cheeks are there. Actually give this a little bit more of a round edge, who's that? So then our whiskers are gonna be like, this is gonna be carved deep, ah, oh, shit. Okay, so these cheap now. Now we're this is what we got. We got half a branch, okay? So you can see his cheekbones are already gonna be down. Okay? So then his whiskers. Guys, this is the whisker part, okay? Carve them in really tight. Really tight beside each other. All fluent, nice with a nice flow, right? A nice flow really close beside each other okay because then after you got all these lines cut in so it's this isn't that flowing right but then you can cross your lines slowly right so watch crossing it crossing it crossing it crossing it crossing it crossing it not crossing it like this, that's even too much. Crossing it like nice and slow. And the more of that you do and the tighter your hairs are, the more realistic it will look at and hairs are overlapping in the wind. So this side, you know, you'd kind of be like, they'd kind of wrap under the mustache, the beard hairs, right? Underneath it. Then you bring this one all the way around and you make a, just pretend his lips carved deep down there. You make them all nice and meet up, right? So this this one's the same pitch as this. They all meet up nice and clean. So in this one, you, you do another one up here. You branch this one out. And you put it underneath that one, okay? And just do nice, tight hairs, guys. Nice, so close to each other, real thin. This is what you should be taking your time on. And then you cross them. Cross them, nice and slow crossing. And don't hold your piece, your carver, uh, straight up and down. Hold it on a real angle and start it and be out of the wood, then bring it into the wood. Okay? So same with this one. Put your lines nice and close. Then cross them. Okay? So there you go. But this guy's, this right here,
Oops. See how that's bigger than that? So there you go, you gotta bring this one out bigger. There you go, now they're equal. That's your, that's your first formula to do a wood spirit, guys. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna carve all these cottonwood barks in a super, super fast forward video, okay, watch. Center line, nose, other side of the nose, make it a little bit bigger, little mustache, eyes, eyes, uh, he's not gonna, this guy's not gonna have a forehead, okay? Well, yeah, he will actually. There you go. Okay, let's do another one. Center line. Nose, nose, eyes, eyes, forehead, forehead. Let's make this guy's mustache go down to the side, okay? Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Give it a little bit of roundness there. Whoosh, okay. There's just another one. Okay, center line. Nose. Whoosh, whoosh, down this down this side. Eye. Eye. Okay, no forehead for this guy. Next one. Let's make this guy so he goes like this. Okay, center line. Nose. Nose. Oops. Now see, this is what happens when you get rushed. So, little mustache, mustache, eyes, eyes. Center line, center line. No, see this point, guys? This is how you want to start your wood spirit. That's the best. Because then you can get a real your nose will stick out far because you don't have to remove that wood, that much wood. Because all this, you just cut down here really quick and this, I cut this away and this nose will be sticking out so fast. Okay, eyes, eyes, forehead. This, some, them, some of these might have hair too. And then you have this little midget, okay? So let's do it like this. Center line, tiny little nose. Tiny, these are just templates for me, guys. Mustache, 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 eyes, eyes. Be creative, guys. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to do a super fast forward video on carving these tomorrow. Well, it's tonight, eight time tonight, but. I don't know, whatever. This is what you guys want to follow right here. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh. Her. Who? Who? Me. Me. Her. Me. Who's me? You. <laughs> Nobody's there, sucker. Ah, shut up. No, you. And guys, before I start carving, I want to tell you, this is a 1-8 Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr. This is my go-to carving burr. The descript, the link to Cutsaw, and to save 5%, use code CFUSION, and that will be in the descriptions below. And to do the whiskers, this is the Roto-Zip Wall Tile Cutter, okay? Wall tile cutter. And then I'm gonna do light sanding with this. This is a little flap wheel thing I made. It's on, the nut and bolt is one eighth. It fits into my Dremel. And this is um, belt sanding cloth sandpaper, okay? Cut into little squares. I got a little video how I made this in my playlists. 
and run it really slow on your Dremel, super slow, almost like this speed. Okay, that's all. Matt, I really think one of the best uh, investments I've made so far was making this, boy. You guys, make one of these. I'm telling you, it will be a game changer for you. Huge game changer. On a quarter inch or one eighth. Use it for your chainsaw carvings too, guys. Or bigger carvings for the quarter inch shaft or the one eighth. Nut and bolt. Oh, man, what a game changer. You, yeah, love it. Love it. Okay guys, so there you go. Look at me, mama, I'm a midget. But the real time carving minus two of these, I forget which two it was, but I had them and I brought them around sounding, so say these two. I carved these in 22 minutes, real time carving, and sanding was about another 10 minutes, okay? Sanding for all these, I had, like I said, I had these other two. I don't know which ones they were. Again, I repeat myself, I know. But this was a piece that I made in another video. I said don't carve wet wood or something like that. But I just sanded this up too. Look how white this wood is. It's uh, cotton wood. That skull kind of turned out all right. Big old spirit down there. But yeah, this is really fuzzy wood. This is a really light piece of wood, but it's pretty cool. Whatever, right? Okay, so all I'm going to do is maybe paint in the eyes, the nostrils, the mouth black, and oil them. And that'll be about another 10 minutes, and then color done. Here's another um, bird's eye. Uh, yellow cedar bird's eye burl piece that my buddy, um, it's, all, it's got uh, pressurized epoxy in it. That's how they make pens, but you can see it's kind of like a side view of a wood spirit face. So yeah. Okay guys, hope everybody's good and take it easy. I gotta get back to work here, so this will probably be my last video in a week or two, I hope. It's a lot of work. Okay, later.